after much figuring, I think we have the brackets placed here. So what we came up with was essentially, so these suites are, seats are gonna swivel. There'll be swivels put on there. So we'll have a table in between. So this will be the living area. So there'll be two seats here and one there, and this one will swivel as well. So that distance between the front bolster here and the front bolster on the other one is really, really important. What we came up to, with was 22 inches. 22 inches is gonna give us enough room. There's still room for a cabinet for a refrigerator on the back side. So I drilled the two pilot holes after having these set here. Um, I don't know how, we'll bolt them at least two times, or at least here and here. That's more, that's no more, you know, that's what the factory relies upon. We could add more if we wanted to, don't know if it's necessary. Same there. So let's go underneath and uh, hopefully they came out where I measured them. Here we go with the creeper cam, first ever. So the passenger side, this is excellent. See, we got plenty of room here. We're not gonna be able to have one piece of, of channel across here because of this cross member, but we can do two pieces. So we'll have the, we'll do a piece here and we'll do a piece right there. So that's, uh, that's all good, plenty of area. So over here, not so good. We're a little bit close to this whole doohickey right here, but we do have a double layer of steel, meaning that this is gonna give it extra strength. So problem is, is there's not room there to lay that bracket sideways unless we were to take the plasma torch and cut all those out, which would be doable, but it's quite a job, I think. We might be, probably be just fine to just basically maybe run it this way or just put a big washer or make a square just so, you know, so we've got two layers right there. The chance of that pulling through there is really, really thin. So good news, I was able to go back and remeasure and pick up just a little bit more and I move that over just enough where I think if I drill that channel if I just kind of favor to one side, I can still get it unbroken there. So because I'm going through two layers here, I don't want these to be too long and uh, run into the gas tank. I did check the clearance and it should should be okay. These are inch and a half. These are inch and a quarter. I'm gonna try to see if I can get inch and a quarter. It depends, you know, I need to get the full thread plus the thickness of the channel plus the lock washer, yada, yada, yada. So I may have to go with inch and a half on that. But uh, Let's go up top side and see how that turned out. Happiness is a grade eight bolt. That, isn't that nice? So you can see there, so there's the washer and then that uh, washer and then the half inch bolt. We got one there and here. So I think that that should be enough. We'll get one piece of backing back below that. So you can see here, if I take that out, that uh, this was the original hole that I drilled. And I think that I, you know, I, that was, trying to give a little bit more room on that back panel so it's going to be super tight but it kind of that's the way it's got to be so let's uh let's go about making our, our lower bracket on the bottom i'm hoping this is going to fit here we did favor that one side okay looks pretty good i think it will I think it will suck up in there just double check and put a nut on it here. Oh yeah, looks like we can use those inch and, we don't need to put those big inch and a half bolts on there. There's plenty of room, or nuts, bolts, excuse me. There looks like there's plenty of room for a, uh, I'm not gonna put a washer on here apart from just a lock washer. You know what, that's actually, that hole needs to, it's, it's a little bit off. It needs to come forward just a little bit. I probably, let me take the die grinder and just, just touch that up a little bit so it goes in straight. So for the van side, it's kind of the same thing right here. So we wanna, we wanna prime this and, and deburr this also. This is a, this is a tool that I've, I've never used before. I just may be made aware of it and I ordered it uh, for deburring the inside of the, um, the, the the little nut deals that I was putting on uh, for the riv nuts. And a guy uh, did a van, of, it's got a vlog, he recommended this and it does work good. So it just rotates around, it's got a cutting edge on it. It came with a, a whole bunch of these guys, but when you can't get to the back side, 
you know, I could get under there with a drill bit and do it like I did, but but that that is just cutting that burr right off there. That works really, really, really good, actually. With the primer dry, I'll uh, hit this with the undercoating. So I'm going to be using the factory mat, and so we'll need to cut the mat around those brackets. And if we try to measure that, no, it'll never happen. So here's a trick. So get your handy dandy snap-on soldering iron. I cannot believe I bought a snap-on. I went through a phase when I was younger that nothing would do except for snap-on, fortunately. I got over that, but uh, I did. I do have a lot of nice tools now. So the soldering iron, we're going to use that to burn a hole through the mat from the bottom up to the top. And the reason why the soldering iron is because it melts through and kind of cauterizes all the fabric. If you try to run a drill bit through fabric, right through there, uh, in, in, invariably it will catch and it will ruin something. It'll pull it, you know, pull the strings out. So better pay attention to what I'm doing here. So the soldering iron um, works really good for going through fabric like that. Let's see, we got one more here. We got some toxic vapors going on. So here on top side, we can see we got a nice clean hole there. I I'm going to use the factory the factory mat. I I like the Ford mats. They really are good quality and tough. I mean, a lot of people tear this out and put a floor in it, but yeah. I think this is just fine. It doesn't bother me one bit. So clean off those goobers there. And now these should go right in there. You know, I changed my mind. I was gonna, I was, the reason why I did this is I was, I wanted to mount these in here where they were gonna go and then trace around here and cut out this floor. But the more I think about it, I don't think there's any reason for it. These bolts, because we're sitting in on the low points of the ribs, I'm just going to tighten these down, just crush that mat down underneath of it, and that's going to be, you know, we're going to be in here with ski boots and water all over the floor, and, you know, if we cut that, it's just going to run down into the insulation. It's going to get all wet. It's going to be a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little circle of silicone of a sealant on there, and we'll press these things down, and then we'll have a watertight barrier and I don't see where that's going to harm anything at all. We might have to use those inch and a half bolts after all uh, to compensate for the thickness of the mat, but uh, that's okay. That's why I bought both because I wasn't sure what I'd eventually end up with. All right, so we've got the world's strongest woman here and the heart racer. Did I tell you what happened with the heart racer today? What? So we went to Home Depot and I dropped you guys off to get some groceries. I opened the door and the heart racer bolted out and ran towards the, we were at the contractor parking, ran in the store, the door opened. She ran in the store and she's gone. I'm like, oh no. So I ran in there. I, I couldn't catch her. She was just, she was going crazy. She was running around. And I finally said to the staff, I had half the staff, I'm like, you got to help me catch the heart racer. <laughs> so we were all running around. We finally caught the heart racer. I put her back. I opened the slider door in the van. I put her back in there, closed it, verified she was in there, locked it with my key, went back in to, to get the stuff for the seats. Well, this pretty overweight woman, very much out of breath, comes running down the aisle and says, the heart racer's loose again. <laughs> so at this point, everyone knows, half the store knows the, who the heart racer is. So how'd you get out if you locked the door? So what had happened is when I, when I went out the passenger's, or the driver's door, and she bolted, I left it open and went after her. And then I'd come around the other side, and I'd put her in the van through the slider. Well, she, as soon as I went in, she went back out, and she went in the store again. That sounds so. more entertaining than the clothing shopping topic. That's what happened. All right, let's put, let's put this in there, guys. She's full of sponge, huh? All right, you got some help there? So heavy. Do you want some help? Just ba balance it right there so I can get in. Okay, I'm sure his hands are clean, right? Uh, I don't know that I can see that. Before I put the bracket on, I've got this all uh, undercoated, and I'm going to put this industrial um, 
it's a paintable, kind of like a silicone, but it's paintable. Uh, really super waterproofer stuff. And that will prevent um, any water road splash from getting up into the cab. That's good stuff right there. Get that on your hands. All right, Jack, hold, uh, hand me that bracket, please. Medium one next. Okay. Medium one next. Um, yeah, just stand by here for a minute. All right, and I'm going to also um, put Loctite, a uh, blue Loctite on these guys um, just because I can. Because why not? Because why not, right? The blue Loctite is, of course, the medium strength, and the oops, I Loctited my arm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, baby. So uh, push down as hard as you can on the passenger's front. Just push it down with your hand. Oh, okay. Is that good? Okay, go ahead and take the, the back one off now. The reason I'm doing this is I needed to compress that mat because I couldn't, didn't have enough thread to get the lock washer on there. You want me to pull it out? Nope, push it down as hard as you can. The front one? Yeah. Okay, so we've got the brackets properly installed here. So last thing, we'll just put one more coat of the, the 3M undercoating on there, nice and heavy. Cover the bolts. We've got the, seat, the rubber industrial strength sealant on there. So that's gonna prevent any water from coming in. We've got the grade eight bolts. We've got the eighth inch channel. That is a properly installed seat there that I can not worry about it coming loose in a accident. Do you want to wipe can them you, off on the towel? Can you pick up that side? I can hold on the plastic here. Yeah. Stick the nose in there. Okay. Are they in? Uh, yeah, they're in. Woohoo! Can I sit? All right, you ready for the maiden voyage? Yeah. We've got something special here. Your, his, Ooh. his, and hers. Ooh, it's bubble wrap. Oh, bubble wrap. Headrest. So if we leave this on like this, it'll be extra cushion. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. And I it'll could, stay clean. I yeah, think. that way when you put your soul glow on your hair, you won't get your seat all greasy. That's right. Let's see who knows what movie that's from. Which way, no, the padded goes forward, I think. Isn't it? No good sir, I think that the hard side goes forward where your head rests. Are you, are you ready you to sit? How do you get that in there? What's this all about? That's uh, so you can hang something off the back? Yeah, but it's got a, a spring on it. Oh, yeah, that's for that. Oh, I see. That's for that. I just want to touch it, my hands are all greasy. Okay. All ready? right. One, two, three. Eat you. Don't forget to put your seatbelt on. Oh, Lucy. Like you. The heart racer. The dog should be in the front seat. We're going to come off the mothership here. Oh, look, there's enough room for a dog. Hi, dog. Lucy, are you seated comfortably? Lucy, are you ready for a voyage? Oh, let's see. What did I break? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah? That looks great, guys. I think I think she would like to come. Yeah. <laughs> look at her she, eyes. Every time we take Lucy, she throws up in the car. She does. She's much better than she used to be. Well, once is... Once is too much of that. Heart racer running around in Home Depot. Was that too once bumping? <laughs> she took the. Should I? Well, should I recline? This is a family friendly. Ch yeah. Oh, let's see the recliner. Just a just a wee bit. Just enough to take a nap. Jack's got an armrest. Ooh, I, I kind of have one here. I don't know what you're planning on doing here, but how much I... room is between the seat and the panel there? About a half inch or so. Yeah, it depends on if you fill up this panel. And it's, it's this going to be a quarter inch panel on and there. And this is how much it is for me between the thing. Well, I think that looks great. Good job, guys. Now, can you put the fuel tank back in for me? If you make dinner. I'll make dinner if you put the fuel tank in. That's a deal. Okay. 